Hello and welcome to Glitchy Toots. Today I'll be showing you how to make these simple and clean color corrections for your edits. Let's get into it. To an adjustment layer, add the effect looks. We'll start with the curves. Make some adjustment with the contrast and uh, this usually depends on your clip. Next, add the pop and set it to about 35%. This is going to sharpen your image. Now move to lens and add haze flare. Reduce the spillage to about 35. Increase the softness to 15. Reduce the reach to about 20. Then reduce the matte box size all the way to zero. Set the color of your haze. I'm going to be using a red since I'm going for a red type of look in this CC. Add lens distortion, then set the distortion to negative 10 and flatten to 15. This is going to give a very subtle effect to your clip. Now add HSL colors and bump up the hue and saturation of the colors you are trying to retain. Any other color that's not related to what you're trying to retain, you're going to have to take it, uh, take them down so that you sort of gray them out. So I'm going to try and retain my yellows and my reds. All the rest will go down. Here's what we have. Now let's make our second CC. To an adjustment layer, we're going to add the effect curves and uh, hue and saturation. For the curve, we're going to do similar to what we did before. We're going to try to adjust the contrast in this clip. Then to the hue and saturation, we're going to increase the saturation of the clip to around 10 or 20. Then add the looks effect. Since we added a curve earlier, we don't need to add another one. Then you're going to come and add the diffusion effect. This is going to give you a nice glow. Set the color of your choice and uh, reduce the glow in order to tone down the strength. Then add edge softness followed by the lens vignette. Adjust the blur size in the edge softness to ensure the character is just our main focus. Then for the vignette, you're going to come and move it around and uh, place it somewhere at the top so that it looks like there's a light shining from the character. So it will be shining from the top and around is where the vignette is. After that, you're going to add a lens distortion. We're going to do it as we did before. Make the distortion negative 10 and the flatten 15. That brings us to the end of the video. I hope it helped you out. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And the link to join our Discord server will be in the description. That being said, I will see you guys in the next video.